If you haven't tried out Satisfactory, you have been missing out. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily set up a game server for Satisfactory using a VPS solution from Hostinger. This video is going to have a few parts. One, I'm just going to go through some of the basic pros of using a VPS. And then we're going to talk about how to actually do the setup under the VPS AMP system from Cube Coders. And after that, we'll go through how to actually sign up for Hostinger if you're interested in proceeding further. One of the good things right now is that Hostinger is having a Black Friday sale, which means that everything is cheaper. Now they do offer a few different game panels, 1, 2, 4, and 8, and they have 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. They're basically different type of performance that is associated with that VPS. For a satisfactory, you should be able to start on a game panel too. If you want to run multiple game servers at the same time, I would recommend 4 or 8. But for the purpose of running a satisfactory server, we should be able to do that with a game panel too to start out. So VPS is a virtual private server. You're basically renting a virtual private server from Hostinger to run your game server. This has a lot of benefits, meaning that you can set up your game server, you can shut it down, you can actually install other game servers. You're just limited by the specifications of what you are renting, meaning that if you have this plan, you have 8 GB. If you have this, you have 16 and so on. It has a lot of pros here. You get DDoS protection, it, they support a lot of different games and they are a trusted hosting company as you can see here from all the reviews. They also have servers in multiple locations globally so you want to pick the one that is closest to you. And finally, 30 day money back guarantee which is awesome because most hosting providers only give you 2 or maybe 3 days. I'm going to show you how to choose the plan and do all that setup later on and I also have a discount code which will bring this down another 10% but we'll go through that a little bit later. After you sign up you'll get a link that will bring you to the AMP instance where you'll log in. Once you're here and you can see I have had multiple servers that I have running or just waiting for me to want to start them up and play. I have Icarus and Shrouded and so on. What you want to go and do is go down here to create instance and click create instance. Here you can select whichever game you want to have. In this case we want to look for Satisfactory which is here. We're going to select the name, we're just going to do A and we're going to do update once. Then you leave start instance and boot and create instance and it will basically install not the game server itself but an instance. Meaning think of it as a box that the game server later will be installed in. I've already done this to save some time so I'm just going to X out here. Otherwise, it'll just tell you in a small little dialog box here that it's downloading and it's installing and everything. Then, this is my install satisfactory. I call it VTest here. And I'm going to click manage in just a moment. What can happen, actually happen for me this time, is that in between starting doing the video and testing everything out and doing my recording, they've released a new version of the AMP. AMP is the system that this is running on and it had a new major system update that required me to actually update to it. That by itself is normally fairly straightforward. You go to the support on updates and upgrade this instance. In my case, and this has happened to other people as well, it actually failed. So I simply downloaded PuTTY, which is a free SSH client. I logged in, I ran some command, basically two of them, to upgrade my ADS. Everything went fine and I was back in business. So it was fairly easy to do anyway. Because it is a VPS, you do ha sometimes have to do a few more manual steps because it is your installation, it is your system. But we're going to go down here to manage. And because we've never run this before, we're going to do update to make sure that we actually get satisfactory installed properly inside this box that we have set up. The instance is the box, the game server is going to be installed. Once everything is done, we can go to configuration here, go satisfactory. In this configuration, we can change things like the player limit. We can change whether to auto pause the server, which I'm going to do. Some of these settings are actually available later on and I'll show you that as well. So most of them you can just leave as they are. We're going to go back, we're going to go to status and we're going to start it up and it's going to tell us that it's starting satisfactory. You want to take note of the connection info here. Obviously I blurred that out because it's my server, but you want to look at the IP and port address. Usually the port is 7777 and the IP that you have, so copy that. 
and I've started my game now and I've run it through Epic but you should be able to run it through Steam as well. We want to go to a server manager. I'm going to do add server and this is where you type in the actual address from the game server AMP instance and then you confirm. It'll ask you to confirm the security certificate. I'm going to do that and kind of authorized that's all right confirm fine friendly name we need to name it so there's a few setup things that we need for the server so we're gonna just name name it test confirm password admin password we're just gonna do like this so people can't log in and do whatever change they want to and see we have test here and this is where you can create the game now there are some server settings here you can change the name etc on this we saw the auto save and things like that you can also do manual save you can actually have multiple saves on the console in this case i'm simply going to do this i'm going to create name i'm going to do a test game one and start the game and confirm and it's preparing the game and now it's starting that game up on the server and after a bit of configuration, the system has been set up and we can join game. And click that. And we're spawning in. See, we are here now and we are on the server. Isn't that cool? See how easy that was? And by now, because it's up and running, you should be able to simply give the connection details to your friends as well. And they will be able to log in and play with you as well. Occasionally, there will be game updates. What do you do? Simply, you log in again to the instances, you stop, hit that update button, let it do its magic, and then start it up as well. Simple. You also want to look at making backups. You can do that manually, or you can set some schedule to do that as well. For making a manual backup, you simply type in the names and description everything, and you hit create backup. All right, so how do we do the sign up and everything? So we're back here, hostinger.com slash video e42. Make sure you're using my link here. Now I'm going to choose this plan. You can choose a higher one as well if you want to run multiple game servers. You can actually do that like I do on mine. I run multiple. I run Icarus. I run Enshrouded. I run 7 Days to Die and Satisfactory because I got a higher plan as well. But for basically running Satisfactory, this should be sufficient. So choose plan when you get to here. And it'll give you an option to select the different durations of the period that you're going to sign up for. Obviously, the price will be different. You get the cheapest price if you're signing up for 24 months. If you sign up 12 months, you get a slightly higher price as well. It's still really competitive though. So let's say you want to do a 24 months. Then you do coupon code. Of course, you want to do coupon code. You're going to do ready 42 click apply and you're going to get a further discount to that which means that we are down at 129 for two years of running your server hit continue you do have to create an account because obviously you're going to become a customer so do that either go through google or just create it through your email address and here you'll be able to fill in your billing address and again review what you're ordering hit continue and then go through payment, whether it's credit card or PayPal, etc. After you've done that, they will shift you over to where you'll be setting up the actual instance, which basically involves selecting the location, naming it, password, and so on. The first thing to do will be to set up the virtual private server. This can pop up immediately, or if you log in separately, follow the steps, get to the home page, and there will be an account action, and you click setup. The key part to getting the VPS is to choose the location. We're going to choose United States. Continue. You have to put in a password. It will tell you that we're going to set up in United States. It'll be Devin 11 and this is the host name. And you click finish setup. The system will now get your VPS running in the background. So grab yourself some coffee and come back. Once we've gotten the VPS set up, we're now on the Hostinger H panel. And you click manage on your VPS. And it's going to be under home here. This gives you an overview of your VPS. We're gonna to go to panel access and simply click the login URL, which will bring you to the webpage where we install the game services. And wasn't that easy? I've now walked you through how to navigate to hostinger.com slash 42 and get your own rented virtual private server and installing the game server on it and configuring it ready for gameplay. I've left the link to this in this description of the video and make sure you use that video for the two discount code to save those 10% even better value. I hope you've enjoyed this guide. Why not share it with others who are also looking to set up a game server and help them as well. See you in the next video friends.